here's a quick video for you. Everybody wants to know why this rack is so good. Well, I'm about to show you one of the design features that nobody ever realizes, but this is why you want to weld angle iron to the bottom of your rack instead of just having some kind of drop in the holes. You know what I'm talking about. Lots of racks just drop into the hole. Okay, so let me get myself set up here. I'm going to pop off the tailgate, position the rack, and you'll watch me just throw it on by myself. And uh, this rack is made of total uh, steel, plywood. It's a heavy boy, but it's manageable. All right, let me set you at a better angle where you can maybe see what I'm doing here. All right, and let's just hope that uh, I don't drop it, because that would really be sad. It really helps having done this a thousand times. Ooh, that might be it. It's quite possible you're going to scrape your truck a little doing this, you know, let's be real. Okay. Now I just got to grunt it up and on. And don't let it fall back. Whatever you do, now it's gravy. So what did that take? All of 30 seconds, two minutes, I don't know. And uh, a little scraping here as always, but I'll put my tie downs on in the four corners and uh, throw some pieces of foam under here and it's a done deal. It goes on and off that fast. Let me pull out the brackets. Let me get it over here. All right, I'll let you see me put the last turnbuckle on. Basically, they're just, you know, the standard draw tights, and I've cut the bolt and the eye end open. So I've been hooking in on the bottom, in on the bottom. This one's a little short. 
So this might have been a front one last time. But you just twist it up, push it in, and then just start screwing it down. And I try to keep these fairly well WD'd and unrusted. Okay, now it's just a matter of taking a crescent wrench to it and uh, snugging them down. Now over the next few days, you got to keep snugging it down because this foam will pack in. And once you get a big load, you have to check the snugness. But uh, that's the ball game. The rack's back on. It was a real simple slide it on. And when all this foam packs out, you won't see any of it. I really need to get a new big sheet or two of foam, but I'm not really worried about it. Anyways, it wouldn't be my truck without the rack, and now I can throw the junk back in. Tailgate on. Now it looks like my truck again. Well, that's it. The rack's on. It's all tightened up. This is why you want to weld your rack to some pieces of angle iron. It gives you the easy on-off capability. No problems, no trouble. Cool. Now I can pack it up, throw all this good junk that I want to keep in the truck back in it, and uh, we're good to go. And of course, the key piece of this rack, I don't know if anybody's seen this, if I've actually filmed it before, but this 2x4 right here, okay, this is held in the rack. And I'll show you how it goes in a second. But what it's for, you just slip it in like this and then throw a tarp over it, bungee it down. You know, you now have a dry place, cook on your tailgate under a canopy. Now you're saying, how do I store this fine piece of wood when I'm traveling every day? Well, I've got these little tabs welded right here on the bottom and uh, let me get myself back in if we can see all right all you've got to do is you take your two by four when you're done with it you pop it out and uh, just slip it in like this right up into the front notch come around to your back and it is a spring fit. Let me close the tailgate so I can get up here and give it a good push. You gotta make sure you're all the way forward because I've cut this tight. There we go. And it's in. Now this also has the double feature of, if you look at the rack, it slightly bends the front down so that with the plywood and that spring 2x4, this thing runs silent. And that's the most important thing about a rack. You don't want it whistling, humming, vibrating. Quiet. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to load up the truck and uh, call it the end of the video.
can't live without straps and bungee cords and some kind of stuff. The important things in life. My God, how many straps do I have? But the truth is, once you start using them, you really can't have too many. That's the truth of it. Once you start using all these straps and beaners, you can't have too many. Speaking of straps and beaners, here we go, see? Put your first one right in action. You know, I probably could have gone the whole summer without the rack, but for me, it's a necessary tool it's part of my look and it shades the dog box nicely so this is a good setup Dusty is very unhappy because uh, she wasn't allowed to come out here and have the good times are you a car riding dog Dusty yeah she's looking at me like I'm an idiot hmm did you say gravy or car rides? Chicken Bob? No. Would you believe somebody actually named that dog Wendy before I had it? <laughs> yeah, it's a good look with the rack. This is what my truck looks like. <laughs> 